you could try to get synonyms this way, but uh, uh, really a better way to do it, if you could, would be to not guess what the synonyms of the word are and to not guess what sense of the word the user is trying to, uh, to get, but to ask them. Right? And you can ask them in different ways, and this has been done uh, by the search engines in a couple of different ways. Right? So this is, an example from, uh, this is an example of Yahoo from, I guess, about three or four years ago. Um, so when you type squid into Yahoo, uh, it, it figures out uh, that you are looking for a slightly ambiguous term. And at that point, it actually offered you to disambiguate uh, the query. So it asked you, well, uh, so th there are many, many concepts related to your query. So which one do you mean? Right? So it's suggesting, uh, it's suggesting different queries that you could try. This, uh, I guess this is an early... Uh, this is an early version of uh, instant search. So now it's going to suggest things as you type. Uh, but the, the, the uh, suggestion as you type, they're typically, typically prefix-based. And this is not <coughs> prefix-based. So you get terms which don't start with quid, uh, with squid. So you get things like mantle cavity, which is very related, but it doesn't start with squid. So the idea there is you give a list of uh, these terms to the user, and, uh, and then you let them select which sense they want. And this way you get more information from them. Um, another way, uh, which is actually a lot more effective, is to get the user to tell you something about the results that you've given to them. Right? And, uh, and this, again, is used in, by almost all search engines. Sometimes it's explicit, sometimes it's hidden behind the scenes. All of them use the hidden version of it, uh, but it's nice to see that some of them have used it explicitly, right? So um, this is Google about four years ago. Anyone ever used Search Wiki? It was a feature of Google where you could actually propagate the search results up and down. Right? So next to the result, you used to have these little buttons, and one of them was an up error, arrow, right? And if you clicked that, that basically meant that you like this result and you would like to see it higher up in the ranking. So um, now, how did Google use that information? That is actually an example of relevance feedback. And that's a large family of algorithms that we're going to talk about now. 